everyone. I am standing in my backyard on this chilly fall day in Grants Pass. My family moved here about two and a half years ago and I'm so, so glad we made the move. I absolutely love it here. If you're also considering a move to Grants Pass, then maybe this video will help you because I'm gonna talk about some of the pros. And cons, but uh, let's start with the pros first. Starting with the pros, I'm going to have to go with rainbow season. Yes, this is actually a thing here. Every spring, rainbows start popping up everywhere and it's made even more beautiful by the mountains surrounding the entire city. Mountains. Practically every house in Grants Pass has a view of the mountains. The city is located in a small valley and the views are amazing. Pedestrian friendly. The city is compact and you can easily get from one side of town to the other via bike, skateboard, or even by foot. Though a car is convenient, it isn't needed to get around. Parks. There's no shortage of parks in Grants Pass. In fact, there are over 20 designated parks and green spaces within the city. The biggest and most popular parks are set along the Rogue River. Schools. District 7 schools are awesome. The high school is like a college. It's huge. Also, all kids receive free breakfast and lunch regardless of income. No sales tax. Actually, the whole state of Oregon is free of sales tax. You can go into the dollar store with a $1 bill and you can actually buy something. Location. Within a two hours drive or less, you can get to the redwoods, the coast, the mountains, the river, Crater Lake, Eugene. Seriously, there are a ton of day trips you can take with Grants Pass being your starting point. Public transportation. The city of Grants Pass actually has a decent public bus system. No matter where you are, there's most likely a bus stop near you. Legal cannabis. It's completely legal to buy and grow cannabis within the city of Grants Pass. Even if you're not a cannabis consumer, this is still considered a pro. The state of Oregon charges a 17% tax rate on the sale of marijuana, and the local government charges an additional 3% tax on top of that. Since dispensaries started opening up in 2016, the state has made over $108 million in taxes, and last month they finally distributed the first $85 million towards schools, public health, and local governments. So everyone should start to see the benefits of marijuana sales very soon. Now for the cons. Fire season. Summers in Grants Pass are hot and dry. Wildfires are a regular occurrence. The air gets so smoky sometimes that the smoke completely hides the mountains. It can be a little bit scary and might not be great for people with breathing problems. Rain season. Winters in Grants Pass are wet and gray. It'll rain for about three or four months straight, and while it can get annoying, it's actually a bit of a pro because it puts out all of the wildfires and it makes the grass green again. Drugs. When we first moved here, drugs were much more of a problem, but the streets have definitely been cleaned up a lot and the problem continues to improve. Lack of police. The police force in Grants Pass is a bit small and their response time can be a bit slow. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, yes, I think someone's trying to break into my house. Don't worry, ma'am. Someone will be there within the hour. An hour? A pro that comes of this, though, is that you're less likely to get a speeding ticket. One of the biggest cons is housing. The lack of housing in Southern Oregon is a serious issue and the problem is extremely severe in Grants Pass. There are way more people moving into the area than there are houses available. Homeless shelters are overflowing, property management companies have no properties to show, and even hotels will refuse locals because they're tired of people living in their rooms. Bike theft. Bike theft is definitely a problem here. We've had two bikes stolen in the last two years. We've even had a bike seat stolen from a bike that was chained up. Well, that pretty much concludes my pros and cons for now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. See ya.